the Prex textbook of dinosaurs and their habits. Monoclonius. Did you know it weighed about two tons, which is approximately the weight of two giraffes? It grew as long as 16 feet, five meters, which is the length of a minivan. Monoclonius held its large head close to the ground and ate low-lying plants. Its skull was six feet long, 1.8 meters, from beak to frill, with the short snout that ended in a parrot-like beak. Although its beak was toothless, it had many cheek teeth, which helped it chew on tough plants and leaves. Its diet is herbivore. Monoclonius. <sighs> Tyrannosaurus. Did you know its arms were too short to reach its mouth? The Museum of Natural History in Chicago, Illinois purchased Sue the T-Rex fossil for $8.3 million in October of 1997. Tyrannosaurus T-Rex was the strongest and most fierce meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived. It used its sharp sense of sight and smell to scavenge other animals. With a mouth full of saw-like sharp teeth, it could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Diet's Carnivore. Tyrannosaurus. Apatosaurus. Did you know it was 75 feet, 22.8 meters long and weighed 50,000 pounds. It was hatched from an egg that was one foot long. Apatosaurus was one of the largest animals to have walked on Earth. The Apatosaurus weighed as much as 45 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of five adult elephants. Its nostrils were located on the top of its head. It swallowed leaves and other vegetation whole without chewing them. The Apatosaurus is an herbivore. Apatosaurus. <coughs> Ankylosaurus. Did you know it had small, leaf shaped teeth enabling it to strip leaves from plants? It is known as a living tank because of its many protective and defense features. The Ankylosaurus had a 20 foot, six meter, long body covered with several rows of bony spikes. The end of its 10 feet, three meter, long tail was shaped like a club, which was used as a weapon to fight off attackers. The Ankylosaurus was an herbivore. Ankylosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Did you know it weighed as much as a brown bear? Its skull was 30 times thicker and stronger than a human skull. The name Pachycephalosaurus means thick-headed lizard. Pachycephalosaurus was famous for having a thick dome on its skull, which was likely used for headbutting battles. The dome, which protected its small brain, was up to 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters thick. Pachycephalosaurus was an herbivore. Pachycephalosaurus. Parasaurolophus. Did you know its crest on top of its head increased hearing ability? It also helped regulate body temperature. Parasaurolophus could walk on either two legs or four legs. The crest on its head formed a long, curved shape pointing toward the back of its head. The strange shape of its head was likely used to amplify sound and communicate with other dinosaurs over long distances. Parasaurolophus is an herbivore. Parasaurolophus. Uh... 
Stegosaurus. Did you know Stegosaurus is Colorado's state dinosaur? The first fossils were found there. It had a small brain about the size of a dog's brain. Stegosaurus had large triangular bony plates along its back which helped regulate body temperature. The largest of these triangular plates grew as tall as 2.5 feet, 0.8 meters. Stegosaurus also had spikes at the end of its flexible tail called thagomizers. Stegosaurus was also an herbivore. Stegosaurus Triceratops. Did you know its head is one of the largest of any land animal discovered? It had as many as 800 teeth. Triceratops is famous for its frill bone at the back of its skull and three horns on its face, giving it its nickname, three-horned face. Two horns above each eye and one on its snout was likely used to defend itself from T-Rex and other carnivorous dinosaurs. Triceratops was an herbivore. Triceratops Diplodocus Did you know its neck could reach over 20 feet, 6 meters high? It replaced its teeth very frequently growing new teeth every 35 days. Diplodocus used its long whip-like tail as a defensive weapon that could attack predators with great force. Diplodocus also used its tail to support its hind legs when reaching up to eat leaves from high vegetation. Diplodocus was an herbivore. Diplodocus <laughs> Allosaurus. Did you know, in 1991, an almost complete skeleton of Allosaurus was found in Wyoming, USA. It was nicknamed Big Al. The first full-length dinosaur movie produced in 1925, The Lost World, starred Allosaurus, not T-Rex. Allosaurus was a massive carnivore, competing with T-Rex in size. Its lower jaw protruded outward, creating a large space in its mouth for holding meat. Allosaurus hunted in packs to kill larger dinosaurs. Allosaurus was a carnivore. Allosaurus. <laughs> Baryonyx. Did you know it was the first fish-eating dinosaur ever found? Its fossil was found with its last meal in its stomach, a fish. Baryonyx had a long, narrow snout filled with many teeth that were cone-shaped. The shape of its snout and teeth are similar to that of crocodiles and alligators. Baryonyx ate both fish and other dinosaurs. Baryonyx is a carnivore. Baryonyx Spinosaurus. Did you know its sail helped dissipate heat and keep its body cool? It lived on land and water, just like a modern-day crocodile. The name Spinosaurus means spine lizard, which describes the very long spines that grew on its back. The spines were shaped like a fan and could be as tall as 7 feet, 2.1 meters, larger than the T-Rex. The Spinosaurus was the only known dinosaur that could swim. It fed on fish along the shore and used its tail to move through the water and find its food. Spinosaurus was a carnivore. Spinosaurus. The end. I hope you learned a lot about dinosaurs. Thanks for watching.